Okay, it's we're getting close to end of year testing season for the high stakes testing uh, that the schools have to do across the country. Um, at least the major mass majority of the schools across the country in order to be in compliance with every student succeeds act. Now, no child left behind inserted this nonsense of high stakes testing as a measure of your school systems and the individual schools within your school systems success. Okay. I don't support it. I think that it's insane. Um, it's a, it's done more harm than good. Uh, I understand the well intention that went behind it, but at the same time, it inserted a bunch of problems. And I'm talking about rippling into societal problems, uh, you know, attached to um, property values and devaluing other neighborhoods, all based upon whether or not your child lives in a failing school and that failing school is determined on your school's uh, particular results. And that means the student results on these high stakes tests. Now, what schools don't really explain to parents and what you may not know is that they subject your children to these high stakes tests and it doesn't have anything to do with their grades. It doesn't have anything to do with them. This is merely an activity that reflects upon the school itself, okay? And so many of my clients have a really hard time during this period of high stakes testing to where, you know, the schools make it sound, especially the principals, because the principals are the ones that have to sit there and notate attendance compliance and the number of students that are participating, okay? So, of course, principals, and I'm going to sit there and chalk up a lot of it, is that a lot of principals just simply don't know that it's an opt-out. It's not something that's absolutely mandatory. Um, it's encouraged. It's highly encouraged. But highly encouraged is not the same thing as mandatory. Okay? So understand that as a parent when you're navigating this and, and you're listening to my explanation. Now, you need to check your school system's uh, state education site it's going to be embedded in your memo section from your state superintendent or or however your structure is in your state uh, with regards to their specific um, uh, guidance from the federal government with regards to uh, student participation but it is not mandatory okay and meaning that they can't force your child they can't force you uh, because you know this would violate your parental rights to have your child participate in these end of year tests that have nothing to do with your child. They have everything to do with the passing grade and the participation rates of that particular school that your child attends. Okay, so this is one of those areas to where I think it's uh, insane to create behavioral issues or disruptions in uh, a certain children's education program simply because of this singular myopic obsession with their participation rates and having children take these uh, high stakes tests, okay? Uh, and you sit there and you go, well, how do I opt out? Well, this is for Alabama, but like I said, if you live in other states, it's just searching your, your, state, uh, your state education website and identifying what the, uh, um, what the process is there. All right, but they can't make your child do this without your consent. It's it's not a force kind of thing. All right. Uh, okay, so this is the Alabama memo, and I understand that it says 2019, but it's still active. It's still the same. So this is to all the, the city and county superintendents, and this is absences during testing days. And so I'm going to go over here, and we're going to go down. And that's our current state superintendent in Alabama. Uh, can, okay, continues to read in inquiries from the field regarding parents requesting that their children opt out of our state approved assessments. There is no recognized process or approved form for this action. The State Board of Education is charged with implementing a unified coordinated statewide testing program, which is required by ESSA, of course, guys. So this is their testing requirements. You keep going down. Um, and then here you go. Sorry. 
We feel strongly that our assessment program provides invaluable information to students, their parents, their teachers, and others who work with them in ensuring that, that they're, ready, they're ready for college and career upon graduation. Certainly, we wish to respect parental rights pertaining to their child's education. Should a parent refuse to allow his or her child to participate in our state-approved assessments, regular student attendance policies apply if, if the child is absent. If present, that student should be given an alternative assignment in a supervised area of the school. All right, there you have it, okay? And that's all you got to do is um, find your policy. If you don't live in Alabama, if you, if you live in Alabama, this is the uh, memo policy. You can show the superintendent and they need to provide your child a quiet place to continue receiving alternative assignments. Uh, if they try to retaliate against by, you know, having them go to the alternative school, they should go to their school. And surely there's a place within their school where they can do, continue to receive a continuity of their services uh, if you choose that your child should not participate in the end of year high stakes testing. Mm -hmm.